those documents you recovered in Bay City were most informative. It seems the Soviet spy master, Agent Orinchov, is at large somewhere in this very city. Well, he ain't here for the weather, that's for damn sure. So, those documents say where I might find our little buddy Orinchov? According to the documents, he's established a secret base somewhere underground. Yeah, I bet he's big into underground movements. <laughs> oh, you're good. That was very good. Have you ever thought about doing stand-up? Pay attention! Secret base underground. Well, that shouldn't be too tough. Just scan the city while we were flying in. Yes, but it's useless. The city is riddled with tunnels, pipes, and excavations galore. It's like a damp, moldy sponge built atop a noxious Swiss cheese. Vivid. So what do we do? I suppose you'll have to swallow your pride and ask one of the natives. Oh, not again. I hate reading human minds. They're so simplistic, like reading a pop-up book. Okay. Locate the tunnels, infiltrate them, and find Agent Orinchov. Then squeeze. Hard. Indeed. Happy spelunking! What's going on in that vacant lot over by Hyde Park? If that's fixing a gas main, I'm Alfie Elkins. Who's that there? Where's the bleeding TARDIS? Boy, someone bring the doctor! There's got to be a way to get Mrs. Peel out of that leather cat suit. Maybe I'll marry her. Yes, yes, but I seem to have soiled myself. The sooner the Ministry gets that East Hyde Park tunnel filled in, the better. Rogues, ruffians, scallywags, the place is... Who put Hyacinth and the biddies at the bridge club think if they saw me sneaking off to those tunnel happenings? Oh, it's all happening. Coming on, Scott's home.
At last, the infamous Agent Orange job. Look, Ivan, I'm kinda in a hurry, and between you and me, I'd just as soon save the ammo. So what do you say we skip the Kalinka dance and you tell me what I wanna know? Be careful, Crypto. This chamber is emitting high levels of radiation. Just a quick peek inside, eh?
Chicken Kiev. What the hell was in those cans? Revelade can't do that. Well done, Mr. President. Well done indeed. Do I know you, teabag? No, sir, but I know you. Forgive me, it seemed best simply to stand clear and give you room to do what you do so well. These Soviets are rather slippery fish. Yes, very slippery indeed, but they do crack. If you'll follow me, Mr. President, I can promise you answers in abundance, shall we?
I wonder if we might have a little chat now, Mr. President. Yeah, sure. What the... Hey, wait a second, Mr. President. I ain't in my presidential disguise. How do you know who I am? They don't call it British intelligence for nothing, old boy. <laughs> okay, you got my attention. Who the hell are you? Reginald Ponsonby Smythe, at your service. And Her Majesty's, although in her case, the service is secret. I'm with M16, the Foreign Intelligence Agency. What's with the suit? Somebody die? In this line of work, somebody always does. Besides, just because I'm a civil servant doesn't mean I have to dress like one, eh? Aren't you a little overdressed? As Oscar Wilde once said, one should either be a work of art or wear a work of art. And this suit is exquisite, don't you think? If you say so, I'm uh, more the wash and wear mylar type. Okay, so I I'm starting to get a little ticked off here. Th these bastards blow up my mothership, kill my boss, screw up my pension plan, and just when I track one of them down, he turns into some kind of super-powered freakazoid mozzarella monster. I sympathize. To be frank, sir, we appear to be fighting a common enemy. Might it not be the better part of Valor to join forces and pool our information? Hmm. <sighs> Ah, I seem to be late for a previous engagement. It's been a pleasure, Mr. Cryptosporidium. Do feel free to drop by at your leisure. I think you'll find we have some mutual interests. But... Excellent, excellent. I'll expect you for lunch, then. Splendid. Must dash. 